Hi all, welcome to the webinar. My name is Becky McGratton and I work for ION, which is a silver Salesforce partner based in the Northeast. Um, thanks for joining. If you're new to this series, we have recordings of previous webinars listed on our new YouTube channel. Um, there are a few reports to get through today, so we'll just crack on. Um, so today we'll be looking at a joined report, but first we're going to go through a dead basic report where the information is already linked for us by the report wizard. So you can see how they're different. We'll then look at a comparative quarter to quarter report after that. Um, so the first report is opportunities with products. So in this report, we're going to drill down on individual products within an opportunity. So we'll just look at products a little before we dive in. Um, so products are the items and services that you sell to customers. At ION, our products are financial transformation or Salesforce platform services. So that would be implementations, development or training hours, etc. So we actually have no physical products, just services. Some businesses will have a combination of products and services, um, for example, materials and labour. Um, some like us will only have services and then some will only have products. Um, we just call all of it products. The insight into seeing exactly where your business is coming from is useful, especially for deciding where to focus efforts like paid advertising campaigns and new hires, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm just going to show you um, how you can add products before I run this report. Um, so what we would do, um, obviously this is if you've got products set up, but we would just find an opportunity. Usually products would sit along here. Um, so you would just go in there, add your products. Um, so this um, list is already pre-populated, so you add your products in elsewhere. Um, but it's just there as a, a list for you to select really, and then you can go in, add your quantities, etc. But I'm not going to save that, I'm just going to leave that. Um, so as long as we're capturing the information in Salesforce, we can report on it. So we'll just go in and create our report now. Um, so we'll click into report. So this is opportunities with products. Um, so here's our wizard. Um, he's asking me what sort of report I'd like to make. So I'm going to find opportunities with products. Um, and I'm just going to remove all the fields. So we're starting from fresh and I'll add in opportunity name, account name, opportunity owner, product name, stage and close date. Um, so for the filters, I want to see all opportunities with the close date of this month. And then I'll just group by owner. So I'll add a chart then. Um, so at the minute, the only fields available in our chart is opportunity owner by record count. Um, so if we group by another field, this information will be available on our chart. But if you just um, see in the chart properties, stacked bar and stacked column isn't available because we've only got these two pieces of information. So I'm just going to group by product name. And then you'll see stacked bar and stacked columns now available. So I can look at it um, as a breakdown. Um, you can obviously change these about, and you'll see it slightly differently. Um, I'll also just group by stage so that that comes up as well. Um, so you can just have a little bit of a play about with your charts. Um, there's lots of different things that you can do with them, but. Um, Sometimes it's just a case of trying things out until you get the, um, the chart that you're looking for. Um, but we'll just save this and we'll call it the reps pipeline by product. And as always, if you want other people to see it, make sure you save it in a public folder. So um, that's our pre-linked um, report. Um, now we'll look at creating an 
actual joined report. Um, so this can contain information from your standard Salesforce report types and also from custom reports. So they just need to have a relationship for the same object. For example, if you created a custom transaction object that sat on an opportunity, you could add these to a joined report. So joined reports essentially let you see multiple reports in a single report. Um, so they do this using something called blocks and you can add up to five blocks in a report. Um, the reason perhaps you wouldn't just run separate reports is you want to see all that information in one place. Um, but we can use common fields to group or summarize and get averages and totals and that sort of thing. Um, so we could combine information together perhaps to see Say an account had three opportunities and four cases, and you can see two of those cases are open. You've got a big picture view, perhaps they need um, a little help on the customer service side and it might help move your sales along. Um, so the first report that you add in here will be the um, principal report type. So if we select accounts here, which we will do, this will primarily be an accounts report. So I'm just going to change the filters here to all accounts and um, all time. So as I've previously used, um, this is a trailhead, so it's full of test data. Um, so this is sort of limited in terms of how much data there is available. So it might look a little bit sparse, but you'll still get the idea. And so I'm just going to type fill in state type and uh, I'll take that modified data out of there. So this is the point where we turn it into a joined report then. So it took me a little while to find this whenever I um, was first trying to do it. I couldn't for the life of me find it. Um, but just think, if you want to make a joined report, it's up in the top left. So you just click joined report. And then you add a block. So um, we are going to start with cases. We'll just add a block there. And I'll just go into filters here. Perhaps I only want to see the, um, the open cases. So I'm going to add a filter of open. And it, that needs to be true. Um, I'll just go back to the outline there. So we would group this report by a common field. So our common field is account name. So I'll just fill that up here. Now you see it's sorted um, by the account name, funnily enough. Um, and I'm just gonna take off the subtotals. Yeah, there we go, that's a bit neater. Um, and I'll add another one. I'll add in opportunities. So again, it's sorting it by the company name. Um, I'll just save and run that. Um, what will we call this? This is clients with cases and opportunities. Go for a public folder. Any, any day now, hopefully. So there you can see the three um, quite clear different reports, but they're all, all the information is in the one place. So as I can see for Ideal Inc, um, we've got four cases going on and three opportunities. So perhaps they just need a little bit of attention and it, can, it might help us move these opportunities along. Um, so we can edit the filters on this report without going back into it. Um, so maybe, Maybe I just want to see all the cases, so I can just um, I can just take it off so I can see all open and closed cases. Hope my internet's not going as slow for this webinar as it is for Salesforce. Um, so yeah, um, 
that is the join report um so i mean you can add um charts as normal um it's worth bearing in mind actually if we create a chart on a joint report um, with more than two blocks um, we can only see the common field and then one other factor so sort of be like the count of cases um, but now we will go on to our comparative report so the original plan was to show you um, a year-to-year -year report but um, I'm sick of saying this there's not enough data in my trial org <laughs> so I'm just going to show you quarter to quarter today um, so we're going to use an opportunities report. You don't have to use opportunities for this one though. And we will group our rows by opportunity owner and our columns by close date. And our close date will group this by fiscal quarter. Obviously if you're doing it by year, group it by year. And now we'll add a custom summary formula field. So just find him here. Um, so we're going to call this quarter by quarter output percent. Um, we want this to display in specific groups. So we'll leave grand total for the row group as it is, and the column group should be close date. And then we'll just um, add our formula in here. So here are some formulas I've made earlier. If you'd like to screenshot this, please feel free. Um, I will try and remember to circulate it in the follow-up email or if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll post it in the comments. Um, but we're gonna use our by quarter formula. So I'll just copy that and validate. So it's valid, thank goodness. And I'll apply that. Um, so you can see we've got 20 um, opportunities in quarter two, but I would like to see more. Um, so I'm going to set my close date to all time and select apply. And that gives us more of a view here now. So quarter one, quarter two, and quarter three. Um, as always, if you have a bit of a play about with your filters, you'll see more information. So um, perhaps I just want to see my closed opportunities. That'll give a slightly different view than if I was to look at my closed one opportunities, or maybe I just want to see the open ones. We'll save that and run. Um, and we will call that quarter to quarter opportunities. And we'll select the public reports for that. We have and run. So there you go. It's a good little comparison. Uh, quarter two is looking great for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, that's us through the three reports. So we've had one with the pre-linked information. Thank you to our Salesforce wizard for that. Uh, we've gone through a joined report and a comparative report. I hope you find it useful. Um, there'll be a recording available on YouTube as always. Please feel free to share with anyone that you think might be interested. And as always, any requests for what you might like to see in the next one, or if you have any feedback or anything like that, just please pass it over. But thank you very much for joining and uh, stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.